anything, just showing you the proper settings to use if you're gonna export in Final Cut Pro X, and you're gonna upload to YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Sorry if it's a little laggy, because I am running Final Cut Pro and recording the screen at the same time. Um, I probably know what you wanna do if you wanna do 1080p. YouTube doesn't handle 1080i properly, so I suggest uh, this one. Um, resolution, obviously this. Um, and uh, whatever your frame rate is, that's really that. Um, the audio, this needs to be on target. This needs to be this. Um, this is the best quality you can get. Uh, that doesn't really, you know, mess with the quality that much that it's recorded in. So, um, that's really the best quality there. Uh, all that, get it down in your brains. Then you want to press OK. Now that our project has been created, you do some stuff, and you're ready to export your movie. You can upload it right to YouTube. Most people don't like to do that. Most people like to actually have a hard copy of it. But I'm going to export. Go to export. Oh, nothing. Nothing is contained there. Why not? Oh, that's a great center shot. Drag that there. Share. Export movie. Then you're going to want to do that. Oh, rainbow of death. Now you're here. Export H.264. Um, you can do whatever you want here, um, but uh, I usually do do nothing because it makes everything so slow. Um, so I I don't really mess around with this. I just do nothing. And then you press summary, and you just say, oh, it's gonna be this big the file size. It's usually half of this, so don't worry about that. And then you press next then wherever you want to save it and you're done that's how simple this is you are finished done forever for life or for this video I guess so hope you, this helped you hope it was helpful hope this wasn't laggy remember to subscribe like this video for a new video every single day for the rest of 2012 and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace off